Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on solar photovoltaic module. So first I will read what is the given problem. A solar photovoltaic LED lamp operates with a voltage of 3.2 volt DC and draws a current of 0.15 ampere. The lamp is required to operate for 5 hours every night. Assuming that the configuration of figure used Calculate the wattage and area of photovoltaic module required which would collect enough energy through the day and operate satisfactorily at night through the year. Also calculate capacity of battery if the battery voltage is 2.4 volt and the depth of discharge is 80%. Given the daily global radiation varies from minimum of 4 kilowatt hour per meter square in the winter to a maximum of 7 kilowatt hour per meter square in summer. The photovoltaic module efficiency is 15% while the battery charging efficiency is 95% and the battery discharging efficiency is 93%. The lead driver efficiency is 85%. So this was the given problem. Now let us first understand what is the given configuration. So if we observe here is the photovoltaic module and then in what happens in the photovoltaic module that is the rays from the solar energy or sun's rays coming to this PV module and there is the conversion it into the electrical energy. Now this electrical energy is getting saved in this battery and then it is used to light the lamp. So this is the LED lamp. So here this is the given configuration that is the photovoltaic module after that there is the battery and after that there is the lamp. Now let us first understand what is the given data and which factors we have to find out. So if we observe the lamp that is the LED lamp what is the information or what is the data that is related to the lamp so we have to write here that is the voltage 3.2 volt current 0.15 ampere time 5 hours that is this is the operating time so this lamp is getting operated in the night for 5 hours and then the led driver efficiency is 85 percent now we will move for the battery so what is the information that is given about the battery so the voltage of this battery is given 2.4 volt, depth of discharge 80%, charging efficiency 95% and discharging efficiency 93%. Then about the photovoltaic module. So this global radiation varies from 4 kilowatt hour per meter square to the 7 kilowatt hour per meter square. Now this global radiation because by using this global radiation in this photovoltaic module this, this radiation is getting converted into the electrical energy and here the efficiency of this photovoltaic module that is the conversion efficiency is given and that efficiency is equal to 15 percent now which factors we have to find out we have to find out wattage and area of the photovoltaic module so what is the wattage and what is the area for this photovoltaic module that we have to find out for this given information and then we have to also find out what is the capacity of the battery so this capacity of the battery as well as wattage and area of pv module so what is the output here so output it we have to enlighten this lamp and operating hours is five hours so for this use how what is the capacity or what should be the capacity of the battery as well as what is the wattage and area of this pv module that is the photovoltaic module that we have to find out so let us move for the calculations let us first calculate what is the energy consumed by this lamp so how to calculate so if we observe the voltage and current is given so we will first calculate what is the power so power of this led lamp that is equal to voltage multiplied by current so we know that p is equal to v into i so this current is 0.15 ampere and voltage is 3.2 volt so what is the answer which is equal to 0.48 watt 
now operating hours or operation time that is equal to 5 hours that is also given so this led lamp we have to light for the time of 5 hours so what is the energy consumed by the lamp during this operation of 5 hours so that is equal to this power multiplied by this operating time so 0 0.48 into 5 that is equal to 2.4 now what is the unit that is its unit is watt and this operation time in hours so we will say that watt hour per day so this is the energy consumed by the lamp so this amount of energy is getting required now if we observe here the LED driver efficiency that is equal to 85% so what is this efficiency efficiency that means output by input so we have to put this data so if we observe the energy consumed by the lamp that is equal to 2.4 watt hour per day that is the output of by this lamp so what is the input energy that we have to calculate so we will write here the formula for the lamp efficiency is equal to output by input that is equal to 85 percent means what 85 divided by 100 that is 0 0.85 which is equal to 2.4 by input so when we calculate this input we will get here input is equal to 2.824 now what is the unit because efficiency there is no any unit so we can write here the input is having unit watt hour per day so this is the input energy of the lamp now if we observe this diagram here is the solar photovoltaic model then there is the battery and then there is the lamp now this is the input to the lamp so this input to the lamp which is equal to output from the battery that is the from the battery this charge is getting supplied and that will be the input to the lamp so we can say that for the battery there is input to lamp which is equal to output from the battery so we can say this output which is equal to 2.824 watt hour per day for the battery now again if we observe for the battery here the charging efficiency and discharging efficiency is given so what is this charging efficiency and discharging efficiency so if we observe for the battery when in this solar module the sun's rays are getting converted into the electrical energy now this electrical energy is supplied to the battery and then there is the charging and this charging efficiency is 95 percent and from the battery when this charge is getting supplied to the lamp then this is called as discharging that is this discharging efficiency is 93 percent so if we observe this battery efficiency is given charging efficiency and discharging efficiency both efficiencies are important so this efficiency is equal to output by input because at the same there are two processes are taken place by the battery that is the charging also and discharging also so we can we have to refer or we have to consider these two efficiencies that is charging as well as discharging and this charging efficiency plus discharging efficiency which is equal to output by input so what is the output so we have already calculated here so we have to put here so when we consider this two, the 95 percent means what 95 by 100 that is equal to 0 0.95 and here is 0 0.93 so we will take here 0 0.95 multiplied by 0 0.93 which is equal to now what is the output here that is 2.824 divided by input so we can calculate here what is the input to the battery so what is the input to the battery 3.196 watt hour per day so here this is the for one day this is the input to the battery now what is the relation for this input to the battery so this input to the battery which is equal to output from the solar panel so here from this output is given to the input to the battery now what is our question that we have to calculate what is the wattage of this pv that is the photovoltaic module so now we get what is the output then if we observe here input to the battery which is equal to output from the solar photovoltaic model so we can say that now here the global radiations varies from 4 to 7 kilowatt hour per meter square now this input is given watt hour per day 
now there are number of hours but here the information is not given that is how many hours are there that the global radiation are available for this solar photovoltaic model so we will assume that there are four hours per day that the global radiations are available for solar photovoltaic model for the conversion into or for the generation of electrical energy so we can say that here how to calculate this photovoltaic mo module wattage that is assume global radiation available for four hours per day now when we here divide that number of hours then we will get here the wattage of this photovoltaic module so what is the wattage 3.196 divided by 4 that is equal to 0 0.8 watt now we will calculate area of solar photovoltaic model so how to calculate this so before that we have to understand on which standard values this solar photovoltaic models are getting designed so if we observe for the design of pv that is photovoltaic module what is the standard values that are considered or on which standard value basis this solar pv models are getting designed so if you observe the global radiation for the worldwide the average global radiation is considered which is equal to 1000 watt per meter square then the temperature 25 degree celsius and the radiation available for hours per day so this is the standard value that are getting considered while designing the solar photovoltaic model now we know that what is the output from this solar module so in this problem the output from this solar photovoltaic module which is equal to input to the battery and which is equal to 3.196 watt so if we observe we will consider what is the area of pv module so we will consider area of photovoltaic module which is equal to a meter square and which we have to find out now when the temperature is greater than the standard considered value that is 25 degree celsius then there is the loss in power so we have to also consider what is the loss in power that is the factor so because this is the loss in power and it will also affect on the efficiency so we will consider here the loss in power factor which is equal to 0 0.90 why because when the temperature is greater than this 25 degree celsius because according to this temperature this solar photovoltaic module is getting designed but what is happening often there is the temperature greater than this 25 degree celsius and what happens there is the loss in power and this loss in power is also affected on the efficiency so we have to consider this loss in power factor 0.90 now we will move for the calculation of area so how to calculate this so we have to take here area into number of hours available solar radiation so here this is our assumption that radiation available four hours per day then the global radiation so what is the design global radiation that is 1000 watt per meter square multiplied by the efficiency of module so efficiency of this module is given 15 percent then the loss in power factor so this is also our assumption that is 0 0.90 which is equal to output from the module so what is the output from the model 3.196 now when we put the value that is a into 4 into 1000 into 15 percent that means 15 by 100 that is 0 0.15 into 0 0.90 which is equal to 3.196 then what is the area area is equal to 5.92 into 10 raised to minus 3 now here we have considered area that is a meter square so here the unit is meter square so we can convert this into centimeter square that is 59.2 centimeter square so this is the answer